Hi everyone and welcome to What's New in Vectorworks 2012. Once again the development team has outdone themselves, fine-tuning every element and finding new ways to help you accelerate your design process. Vectorworks continues to be the clear choice when considering design software that's flexible, versatile, intuitive, and smart. Most of us have utilized the power of working planes from time to time to place and draw objects based on geometry that doesn't rest on the ground plane, using the keyboard shortcut or by invoking the tool from the 3D modeling tool set. Well, not anymore. Here's a lighting instrument. Before beginning, we'll set the plane control to automatic. Now notice how Vectorworks sophisticated interface automatically acquires a planar surface just by mousing over a face. And once the face has been acquired, both 2D and 3D objects can be placed. By the way, this feature will also work with text so you can readily identify any object. Let's say, for instance, we need to give the electrician some dimensions on a specific instrument. Well, here's a tool that uses the power of working planes. Notice how we can now quickly and efficiently pull dimensions on this instrument, with the tool automatically sensing on which plane to set the dimension. The tool works in constrain, angular, and radial modes. It's as simple as choosing the mode you want and letting the tool do the work. Let's look at how the push-pull tool works in Vectorworks 2012. Here are two closely related modes activated by the Option key. The first one draws a 3D element directly from its 2D form, no having to switch to any other tool. Just draw and pull. Keep in mind this new extruded object is a separate object and can be edited if needed. So let's try again. Now by holding down the Option key while pulling out the 3D form, that form becomes a solid addition automatically. Subtractions can be accomplished with the same elegance. Just hold down that Option key and push or pull. The power and freedom to create quickly is right there. A word of caution, this could really get addicting. So enjoy! The new LED video screen tool, originally from Landru Design, is a great new addition to Spotlight 2012 and is used to simulate a number of different configurations for low resolution LED screens. There are a number of options available to help you create a variety of commercially available configurations. You'll get options for tiles and tile caps, discs and disc caps, and tubes and domes. In addition to these standard options, you have the ability to easily configure LED screens as curtain, vertical strips, horizontal strips, web, and more. The parameters in the tool offer a great flexibility and ease of use. You'll easily set the horizontal and vertical spacing, adjust the tilt angle, and control many other attributes that will help you create exactly the combinations you need to express your vision with LED screens. But there's more to this still. You can also spread your image across multiple surfaces in a grid with full control of scale and offset and the ability to keep text horizontal. This is a helpful new option for Vectorworks Spotlight that's very intuitive and will surely save you time. Now in 2012, when you have a lighting instrument or multiple instruments that you want to aim at the same point, you can simply right click and use the contextual menu option to focus instruments on next click. Now simply click and your instrument or instruments are focused on the new focus point. This new option also works for multiple objects and multi-circuit instruments. It's now just that easy. And here's another new capability. In this example, you'll see that we have a three-cell multi-circuit fixture. Now in Vectorworks Spotlight 2012, we can simply move a focus point 
and the multiple circuit instrument will rotate along with the focus point to match. Simple, intuitive, and easy. Here's a small but powerful improvement to help you speed up the specification of lighting device colors. In Spotlight 2012, the Vectorworks color system is connected to the lighting device colors. This means the lighting device colors are now stored in your Vectorworks documents for a clean and simple way to assign colors to your lighting devices. Of course, we've maintained the flexibility for you to enter any color you want in the object info palette and it'll work as it has in the past, but as you can see, these colors are also permanently added to this Vectorworks file. Just go to the Attributes palette and now you see the colors are added and given the name that you specified from the lighting device. In addition, you can use your named Vectorworks colors as colors for your lighting devices. Have you ever needed to see what's hidden behind another object, like this border, when you're in top plan or elevation view so you can make needed adjustments? Well, here's the perfect tool to eliminate the old hide and seek. Just by pressing the B key, you'll toggle on and off fills, providing you with the ability to see what's back there. You'll be able to quickly see and accurately snap to, align, reshape, and move objects, like this underhung light that are hidden behind other objects. The degree of opacity for this new feature is set in the interactive appearances settings, giving you just the look you need. In prior versions of Spotlight, you may have used our curtain tool to design curtain configurations. However, in 2012, we've implemented a new soft goods object tool that does what the curtain did and more. The first thing you'll notice is the new soft goods object is a path based tool. This is going to give you a lot more flexibility. As you can see here, using the tool we can draw a pipe and drape configuration along a path. This makes things like customizations, including curve sections, really easy. Additionally, you can set other configuration options like base plate size and end hardware using the object info palette. And if we look a little closer at the settings in the object info palette, you'll notice that you can easily specify a standard set of functions including pipe and drape, curtain, and border. Plus, you have access to a few standard 3D options, so you can completely customize your soft goods visualization. Continuing in the vein of improved workflow efficiency, Here's an option you'll find that can help you identify and move quickly from one view to the next. We've now included the ability to set background colors for a particular view. So, if you want your top plan view to be slightly gray or your sheet layer background to read slightly blue, no problem. Just go to the Preferences setting and pick your color. And as I'm sure you're aware, it's more important than ever to communicate effectively with your colleagues and other team members. We've made great strides with our DXF DWG support so that you can collaborate with ease. Save your export settings. Gradients can now be imported and exported. Line weight by color has been improved. Clip blocks are now a choice. Image fills are a great addition to the list, as is export only selected objects. Import hatch has been improved, and finally, opacity is accurately translated between CAD applications. With RenderWorks 2012, you get seriously improved OpenGL capabilities with OpenGL shadows better accuracy, and better quality. We think this might be one where you'll need to see for yourself. Another great new addition to RenderWorks 2012 is the development of some new metallic shaders. Thanks to the Cinema 4D render engine, you'll be stunned by the clearer definition and true-to-life appearance of shiny, brushed, or turned metal. 
As you see here, the new shaders give you a more refined definition of pattern, stroke, and overall appearance of the texture. The results, very cool and very realistic renders. Now here's one of our favorite new features that's really going to save you tons of time. The new Render Work Styles feature puts your personal style to good use over and over again. You can create custom configurations for lighting, backgrounds, and render settings as reusable resources in your documents. Just drag and drop your custom resource onto your file and all your settings will be applied just like that. And better yet, resources can be saved and shared with others. Wow! So for this year, we invite you to accelerate your designs in 2012, increase your efficiency, up your productivity, go where you want to go.